Season 6 of The Flash is upon us, and it looks to be the most exciting season yet. While the show has been super popular ever since it started airing in 2014, there is still a lot the fans don't know about Barry Allen, aka The Flash. So we're here to count down 10 amazing things about The Flash you might not have heard of. Without a doubt, The Flash is one of the most powerful heroes in all of the DC Universe. But there is one ability he has that truly sets him apart from the rest. And that is, he is totally impervious to mind readers and telepaths. Because his body can move so quickly, his mind must also do the same in order to keep up. In the comics, one of The Flash's oldest nemesises is Gorilla Grodd, who is, get this, a gorilla with hyperintelligence and the ability to control minds. In an altercation between the two, it was proven that Gorilla Grodd's psychic powers were totally useless against the Flash. His mind just moves too quickly to be pinned down and controlled. As falling prey to mind control is a common downfall to even some of the most powerful superheroes out there, I can hear people's thoughts. This gives the Flash a huge advantage. The debate about whether or not The Flash, aka the fastest man alive, is faster than Superman is one that has raged for centuries. Well, not really. Not helped by the fact that DC kept pitting them in races against one another, but would always find them interrupted by a bad guy or innocent bystander in order to avoid answering the question. And yet, finally, readers got their answer. In the Jeff Johns comic The Flash Rebirth, we find our heroes in a race against one another yet again. The two are neck and neck, and in a moment of perhaps overconfidence, Superman reminds The Flash that he has actually won a few of their races in the past, so there's no point in trying to beat him now. Without missing a beat, however, The Flash turns to Superman and says those races were for charity, before taking off and leaving the Man of Steel in the dust. There's just no doubt about it, the Speed Force is far too powerful to beat, even for Superman. Some might think of The Flash as a guy who is just really, really fast. However, he has way more power than you may realize. He is actually one of the most powerful superheroes ever created, who thankfully decided to use his immense power to do good. For starters, he's not just fast, he is seriously fast. The Flash can run millions of times faster than the speed of light, which is what leads to his next amazing power, time travel. He can jump through time like it's nothing, and can create alternate timelines at will, and actually created an alternate universe at one point. Along with all these practically godlike abilities, he can also heal himself at an accelerated rate, making him nearly invincible. He can quantum tunnel through completely solid objects, and can punch with the force of a speeding asteroid. All that aside, if he moves fast enough, he can also become invisible, as the human eye can't perceive movement that fast. Master the ability of standing so incredibly still that I've become invisible to the eye. All in all, we're lucky The Flash is one of the good guys. He started out with just a two episode storyline on the other DC TV hit, Arrow. This new character's introduction into the TV universe suddenly opened up a whole lot more possibilities for the network. The character was immediately popular with audiences and it was clear the fans wanted more, but no one was quite sure just how much more. Originally, the plan was to bring The Flash back to Arrow later on in the season, using his appearance on the show as something of a backdoor pilot. Basically, a backdoor pilot is when a new character with the potential for a spin-off is introduced into an already successful series. Yet for some reason, this plan didn't happen, and the network gave Barry Allen his own standalone pilot instead. While they genuinely believed that The Flash would work well as its own TV show, it's hard to be 100% certain. The plan was, if the show didn't fare well with audiences, that they would bring Barry back as a reoccurring character on Arrow. Luckily for all of us, The Flash worked and is still going strong. Or should we say fast? It's pretty rare for superheroes to actually end the lives of the villains they encounter, as they generally prefer to be the good guys who throw them in Arkham Asylum or prison or something like that. Save Martha! But sometimes things take a dark turn and even the noblest of heroes will snap, which is exactly what happened to Barry Allen. Now, we don't ever want to say someone had it coming, but in this case, this guy had it coming. Let us elaborate. A long time ago, Barry had actually done what few superheroes are able to do, settle down with the love of his life, Iris. But just when he thought he might actually get the chance to be happy, a deranged and jealous supervillain named Dr. Zoom comes after Iris and takes her life. And then, years later, 
when Barry has finally been able to move on and remarry again, Zoom pops up and tries the whole thing for a second time. Barry won't let it happen again, and he breaks Dr. Zoom's neck in the fight. The tragedy wasn't quite over for Barry yet, however, as when he can't make the wedding because of the whole neck-breaking situation, his fiancée goes mad and flees the country. And on top of all that, he then has to go to trial for the Dr. Zoom incident, where a whole bunch of other drama goes down, before he is finally able to retire in the 30th century with Iris' spirit who lives in the future. It's a whole thing. If that wasn't dramatic enough for you, not only has Barry Allen taken someone's life, he has had his own stripped from him as well. It's rare that a series will actually end the life of one of its most beloved characters, but that's exactly what happened to The Flash. At least, for a while. After the whole Doctor Zoom debacle, so, so. Allen was happily retired in the 30th century with Iris, at least for a few weeks. But, as fate would have it, an event called The Crisis on Infinite Earths gets in the way and Alan is brought back into 1985 by a villain known as the Anti-Monitor. The Anti-Monitor had a plan to destroy the Earth using an antimatter cannon, but Alan was able to escape his clutches long enough to foil this diabolical plan. He does so by creating a speed vortex so intense that it draws the power of the cannon inside. But unfortunately, the power is too strong for his body and Alan is overtaken in the process. While the world mourned and the Flash did disappear from the comics for the next 20 years, it was later revealed that he hadn't actually died, but had simply become one with the Speed Force during the incident. There was also a storyline in which he actually became the lightning bolt that first gave him his powers all those years ago. One of the most surprising things that even Barry Allen himself never expected to find out was that he has a living brother. His origin story goes that when he was born, he was actually one of a set of twins. But because of complications with the birth being two weeks late, the Allen family was told that the other twin supposedly did not survive. In reality, he was alive and was taken away and given to a wealthy family named the Thons who had just lost their baby due to a drunk and negligent doctor. As it often goes in comic books, this twin didn't grow up to be quite as noble as his counterpart, and actually turned out to be an evil supervillain of his own right. After learning about his true origins, the twin, named Malcolm Thons, becomes furious and turns himself into the villain, Cobalt Blue. Bent on finding his long lost brother and stripping him of his powers and destroying his lineage. Because of this, the two families become foes and subsequently spend centuries warring against each other. Talk about a family feud. We all know that the Flash can travel at such great speeds that he can move through time. If you've ever seen literally any movie about time travel, you know things don't always go as planned. That rang especially true for The Flash in the comic series when he actually broke reality for a minute. It's a long story, but basically there was one time when The Flash decided to go back in time in order to stop the Reverse Flash from taking out his mother. But to do so, he required so much energy from the Speed Force that it literally broke time and completely messed with the normal flow of everything on Earth. So much so that Bruce Wayne was done away instead of his parents, Aquaman and Wonder Woman destroyed entire continents in a brutal fight against one another, and Superman wound up trapped in a military underground facility for his entire life. Luckily, Barry was able to fix his mistake when he finally took out Reverse Flash, but actually created an entirely new DC Universe in the process. Most current fans of CW's The Flash might not have been around early enough to remember that there was actually another version of the TV show all the way back in the 1990s. With some awesomely cheesy opening credits and only one season under its belt, the show wasn't exactly a hit. While it didn't last long and wasn't all that well received by critics, it has become something of a cult favorite and has a loyal fan base who remember how fun it was back in the day. The creators of the current show remember too and have gone out of their way to pay homage to the original. They brought back Amanda Pays to reprise her role as Dr. Tina McGee and had Mark Hamill don his trickster costume once again to fans' delight. But perhaps the best throwback casting of all had to be the choice of John Wesley Shipp, who played the Flash in the day to step in and play Barry Allen's father. There's actually no better choice than Shipp for this role, and the extra layers of heartwarming nostalgia that it brings to the show just makes everything better. 
It's safe to say that, without Barry Allen, comics would be entirely different than they are today. Comic books began all the way back in 1933, with Superman becoming the first big star in 1938, during what was called the Golden Age of Comics. But in the 1940s, interest in comics began to decline, and in an effort to reinvigorate interest in the genre, DC Comics made one big push to regain popularity. This push came in the form of The Flash. While he existed during the Golden Age, it was as Jay Garrick. In 1956, Barry Allen came to be as the new and revamped incarnation of The Flash, and many credit him with being the true catalyst for the Silver Age, which saw many of the Golden Age characters getting their own makeovers and reigniting the popularity of the superhero genre. With all that in mind, we are even more excited to see what this new season of The Flash has to offer. What about you? Are you a loyal fan of the show, or prefer to stick to The Flash on paper? What comic book storyline do you hope will make it onto the screen this season? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to The Binger while you're here.